Tashitile everyone. Today in this class, we are going to discuss about class 7 geography, chapter number 5. And the name of the chapter is called Water, part 1. The sun's heat causes evaporation of water vapor. We know that sun is the main source of heat and light to our earth. Because of that, after washing our clothes, we are drying up our clothes under the sun. After 7 to 8 hours later, our wet clothes will become dry. Why means because of sun's heat. So the sun's heat causes water evaporation of water vapor. That means when the sun's heat when it touches with water bodies such as ocean, rivers and lakes, these water these water bodies will get warm and evaporation takes place or evaporation takes place or these water vapors they will turn into gases or vapors. And again when the sun's light when it touches or it contracts with plants and animals and on the land again the lands plants and animals we also have a water content in these plants and animals we also have a water so these waters again become warm and transpiration take, takes place so when these evaporation they will go up in the sky so these water vapor will water vapors are carried by an air and when they reach at certain height in the atmosphere when the water vapor cools down when these water vapor reaches at certain height or altitude in the sky or in the atmosphere these water vapor will cool down and condensation take place so condensation means when the water vapor turns into water droplets these are called condensation and form a so condensation takes place and cloud form formation of cloud is inside the cloud the cloud is we have inside the cloud we have many many vapors and moistures so there are water vapors from there so after the condensation when these water droplets become very heavy they will fall down so from there it may fall on the land so these water droplets when it become very heavy they will fall on the land again in the sea again in uh, on the sea again on the trees again on the uh, this one oceans in the form of rain snow or slit so here slit means we are we can say sera so this is about the uh, sun's heat how sun's heat is turning the water vapor and how rainfall occurs so our sun first our sun gives heat to uh, our earth and when these heat touches with water bodies such as oceans rivers and lake evaporation takes place water become warm and water vapor becomes and gases become that is called evaporation when uh, evaporation takes place from plants and animals, it is called transpiration. When these water vapors, transpirations, water vapors, they are carried by, uh, carried by an air, they will go up in the sky. When they reaches at certain height in the atmosphere, they will cool down and condensation take place. Condensation take place means when water vapor turns into droplets that is called condensation and after when these water vapor vapors become very very heavy they will fall down on the earth they are called precipitation so pre pre precipitation we have different types in the forms in the form of rain in the form of snow and in the form of slit so this is about uh, how rainfall occurs with help of sunlight 
Next is what is meant by water cycle. So water cycle is a process. Water cycle is a continuous process. This process is going again and again. Process by which water continually continually changes its forms. So uh, water, we have three forms of water or three states of water. Three forms of water. There are water in the form of solid, like ice, snow. These are the water, but in the form of solid, solid. Water in the form of gases, in the form of vapor, water in the form of liquid, in the oceans, in the form in the rivers. So these, so water cycle is a process by which water continually changes its forms. So water changes here from water changes from vapor to uh, liquid uh, droplets, and droplets falls down in the liquid, and it's collect. So this cycle is called water cycle the process by which water continued continually changes its forms and circulates circulates in between ocean atmosphere and land that is called water cycle or in another name for water cycle is called hydrologic cycle so water cycle is a continuous process so this process is taking place again and again because of sun's light that is called water cycle water is changing uh, from one state to another state water vapor this one water droplets and again water droplets it uh, it will fall in the oceans they will become liquid so this cycle of changes in the form of water is called from atmosphere to land from land to ocean so this cycle continuous cycle is called water cycle our earth is like a terrarium terrarium so this is this particular picture shows is uh, this picture is a terrarium so terrarium is a we need a one glass so inside uh, this one transparent glass we need to put soil humus and plants so when we place these uh, terrarium outside and if we exposed this terrarium under the sun the sun's ray contacts with this terrarium and some uh, heat from the uh, sun it will go inside this terrarium or penetrate inside this terrarium when it get uh, touches with uh, this one uh, soils and this one plants these plants and soils contains moisture so these uh, when touch solo heat solo uh, sun's heat touches these objects or these uh, this one trees and this one soils water vapors will uh, emerge when water vapors emerge when we cool it down then these water droplets will fall down so this is like our atmosphere and our earth so this is the example or uh, illustrative purposes for how our earth is like a terrarium. Major sources of so base, uh, based on soil salt content in the water, the waters are again divided into two salt water and fresh water. So fresh water means those waters which have no water, no salt content. So water which has no salt contents, major sources of fresh water. So these waters are uh, water which contains very less or no salt content. These waters are called fresh water. So the major sources of fresh water are example of river waters, ponds, springs, glaciers, springs, lakes, rivers, ponds, wells, streams. All these are the surface sources of uh, fresh water. So usually we are using fresh water for drinking purpose, for bathing purpose, for washing the uh, clothes, uh, for agricultural purposes. Most of animals are drinking fresh water instead of salt water. So these are the major sources or the important sources of fresh water. So the most important sources of fresh water on this earth is rivers. Ocean water bodies. So this is ocean. So uh, on this earth we have 
four main oceans. They are Indian Oceans, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, and Arctic Oceans. So ocean water bodies and seas contains salty water or saline water because sea waters are contents we have lots of salt content so because of that sea waters are unfit for human consumption and for the growth of uh, plants and uh, feeding the animal it is not suitable because of salt content distribution of water on earth about 71 percentage of our earth's surface is covered by water so this is the globe this is the globe and if we look at this image globe if we look at this image almost we can see large portion of this over globe is covered with what blue one so this particular blue one colored one shows waters or oceans of the earth oceans and seas of the earth so that means out of 100 71 percentage of our earth is covered by water because of that sometimes we are calling our earth as a blue planet because of um, uh, water covered 71 percentage of our earth is covered by water because of that our earth is sometimes we can say a blue planet distribution of water on earth so distribution so flowing table gives the distribution of water in terms of percentage so sources of water percentage saline water and fresh water so we know saline water means water which water uh, those water which contains high amount of salt uh, salt these are called saline water mostly ocean waters are saline water so ocean 97.3% three percentage of our earth's water comes from ocean so ocean water are slime water they are not suitable for human consumption for animal feeding the animals and for the growth of plants so they are unfit for th these uses ice cap north pole and south pole and we also say tibet as a third pole because tibetan plateau is covered by snow and glacier almost throughout the year because of that ice cap ice and snow groundwater below beneath our earth we have uh, water underground water so if you talk about our school almost 99 percent of our school water sources are coming from groundwater fresh water lakes so we have many lakes so some waters are fresh water lake so we know what is meant by fresh water lake means water which contains less amount of very very less amount of soil or no no soil salt content inland sea so inland means inside the sea we have inside the land we have seas so inland means the land uh, land mass is bigger than water body seas inside land we have salt seas and lakes that percentage is 0.009 in the atmosphere we have water in the form of uh, vapor water in the form of droplets so that percentage is 0 0.0019 and water in the form of rivers 0 0.0001 so uh, these are the these are the sources of fresh water so this is globe of our earth 71 percentage of our earth is covered with water because of that our earth is blue planet because of water 71 percentage of our earth is covered with water distribution of water water in the form of lakes fresh water lakes salt water lakes water in the form of rivers water in the form water in the atmosphere in the form of water vapors or gases or in the form of droplets water in the form of ice water in the form of snow water in the form of glacier underground water beneath our earth below our earth we have water so these waters comes from uh, surface water so they are uh, sip these water comes because of seepage of rain water inside the land so these uh, waters are filled by rain waters so these are the distribution of water or the major forms of uh, water bodies on the earth water is absolutely essential for survival so water is very very useful for our life water is indispensable part of our life
water is absolutely very very essential very very important for our survival so we are using water for different purposes uses of water we are using we are drinking water we are washing our hands faces uh, hairs we are brushing our teeth with with help of water we are taking bath under the shower uh, we are uh, cooking the different food with help of water we are watering the plants we are using water in agricultural sector in agriculture sector with help of irrigation and we are getting different types of vegetables and fruits we are feeding our animals livestock uh, water and in return we are getting meat we are getting milk we are getting uh, this one uh, uh, eggs like this so again forest that for the growth of forest for the um, growth of forest many animals are dependent on water so we are dependent on our environment forest we are dependent on different animals so because of that water is very very important for our life so we need to conserve water because the fresh water in on our earth is very very limited so we have to conserve uh, over the water conserve the water limited use of waters sometimes water is also uh, we can say water is a life giving resources Thank you.